Hi, this is Suchi and today I'm going to start a new series on NumPy. So first thing which comes on our mind is what is NumPy? So we were discussing about Python in our Python series. Now, there I have mentioned that Python has a lot of libraries or packages. So NumPy is one of them. Num NumPy is a Python library. And by the name itself, we can see that it is NumPy, which stands for numerical Python. And we deal with numerical computations, scientific computations with this package, with the help of this package. And this package provides an object which is in dimensional arrays. And along with that object, there are so many built-in functionalities which we can use to efficiently handle numerical data. Now, before even start using this and before even discussing about in dimensional array, let us first install this package. We want to install a package in Python, the best practice we follow is we use pip. So this pip must have been installed along with the initial setup of Python that I have shown in the Python series. Now, as you already have pip installed in your system, you can check if you need to, if you want to check, you can check you can open the CMD prompt anywhere in your system. And then you can check. The version of P. So you can see P version 22.0.4 is installed in, in my system. So go and check in your system as well. What is the P version available in your system? So using P we are going to install this package. See, pip is nothing but Python's package manager. Whatever package we are going to install, we will be use, uh, using this package manager for that. Now let us see how we can install NumPy. We can open command prompt anywhere in our system. And then we can just run this command, pip install NumPy. And the other option is, we can run it from the notebook using an exc exclamatory sign at the front of this command. So let me just do it from the notebook to show you. So let me run this command. And it is saying that requirement is already satisfied. So pip is already, uh, numpy is already installed in my system. That is why it is showing requirement is already satisfied. But if it was not installed, then it, it, it was going to be installed in my system with this command. So if I run it here also, it is saying that requirement is already satisfied. You can ignore this warning. It is just saying that my pip version is older and there is a newer version available. So if I wish, I can upgrade the pip version. So this is the command to install the package. Now, as the package is installed in the system, we can import the package. So how to import the package? We just need to write import and the package name. Now, if we want to rename it with some other name while we are using it, we can write as and some other name, XYZ. So let me just give it a smaller alias so that every time I don't need to mention numpy 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 I can just use this short form which I have used with this as expression. So if I run this cell numpy is available as np in my notebook. So now I can use this np. If I just run this cell you can see this module location is visible and now let us talk about nd array so so how we can create an nd array there are multiple methods but here i will show you a simple method the basic very basic and simple method 
let me name it as my array and i will use this package np dot this object np dot array simple and i will add a list of elements here we cannot add the elements directly here we cannot add the elements directly here what we need to do what we need to do is we need to add these elements inside a list so now if we write this if we write this without bracket without enclosing with in a list if we just send this thing you can see some error will occur here and what is the error it is saying type error because this array function takes one to two positional argument but we have provided five arguments so we have to enclose it within a list and then we can even see what is present inside this so here you can see we have created one nd array if we want to see the type of this array the type of this my array object what we will see this is this will be visible as nd array so let us check that so let me print the type of this my array so here you can see this is numpy.ndr let us talk about ndr what is an ndr does it look doesn't it look like a list itself in python we had the list and here also it looks like list so what is the difference then with the very first difference is here you can see i have provided all the homogeneous elements but in list we also support heterogeneous objects we can have we can have an integer another element could be some float object another element could be string another element could be something else maybe a list itself so this kind of structure was allowed in list this kind of heterogeneous elements were allowed in list but would it be working with nd array let us just run it and check what happens if we do this let us run it so here you can see that it is not showing any error but it is showing it is converting the data type as object so this is nothing but an warning because it is saying that if we are mixing this data types what will happen we have to specify the second parameter of this np dot array function which is the data type and we have to specify this data d type as object so if we specify this d type as object and now we run it we do not see this we do not see this warning there. but in that case what will happen these elements will also be considered as object only it won't be integer or it won't be float or something this won't be string everything is considered as object but now in this case if we specify only single type of elements if we run this and if we want to check the data type what is the data type let us just check it here we have one member a uh, member variable of nd array which is nothing but d type d type stands for data type if we run this we can see what is the d type what is the data type of this nd array It is nothing but integer in 32 because all the elements here we have provided integer now for np dot array function we can also assign the d types here so if i specify the d type as float d type as float we can see that that these elements have been converted into float so d type we can specify separately as and if we do not specify it will automatically detect the data type of all these elements and it will 
specify that d type to the nd array so this is a very short introduction to nd array we will read more about nd array in upcoming videos so till then keep learning keep implementing thank you for watching